update. AITA for banning my husband's best friend from our house. Thank you for all your responses. Some people asked me for an update. Yesterday after breakfast I sat with my husband to have a talk. I told him he was right. Banning his friend was wrong. They will meet anywhere else where he can still actively drag me down and encourage him to cheat. Plus I don't want my daughter to be near a grown man that was constantly thinking about how tight a young girl's vagina may be. I didn't mention it in my post but this girl is in her early 20s while we all are in our mid-30s. My husband was mad at me for insinuating that his friend was a perv and was even more mad because now I was saying he should cut his friendship out. I told him I feel disappointed that he let someone talk of me and my body that way. I was disappointed that someone tried to sabotage our marriage and he let him got away with it. If the family we had built was less important than this brotherhood he should go ahead and tell me already so I won't be losing my time. He said I was right but I couldn't possibly understand him because I came from a large family. I pointed out that he has a family now and his family must come first than any friendship, brotherhood or whatever. He agreed. Well, later that day his friend came over to pick something. They ended up hanging in our front yard for two hours and my husband even took our daughter to say to uncle and play. I was seeing red. I waited until the friend left packed mine and my girl's stuff and left to my parents. I message him. He had two options. To man up and stick to his family or see us in court. I wasn't about to take any disrespect from nobody not him. Not his friend. I also sent him the link of my previous post so he could see some extra perspective. He massaged me telling me how sorry he was. He was willing to do anything to not lose us. He said he was sorry for being so weak and not protecting me. Our intimacy and our marriage. Sent me some screenshots where he tells his friend to stop trying to introduce him to women and getting him to cheat. He asked for a dinner to discuss some boundaries they need to set in their friendship and the respect he should has for his marriage. My husband asked me to come along to this dinner so I can see myself that it's true he's setting boundaries and he will put distance between then too. Also agreed to do some kind counseling to deal with his own trauma of losing people. I said that I support him hearty. But I'm staying with my parents until dinner with his friend is over and I see some kind of improvement. That is. Again thanks. Edit. I'm overwhelmed by all the responses this is getting and not used to be in the spotlight. I feel so vulnerable. I'm taking a time off to figure this out. I love my husband and I miss him deathly. I miss everything about him. I hope we can be together again anytime soon. Original. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash amythius hole slash comments slash mv heisk slash ida for banning my husband's friend from our house slash he's just going to hide his conversations with his friend better he didn't jump to your defense but he always jumps to his friend's defense that should tell you what you need to know what the fuck? You're far kinder than I am. I am livid on your behalf. I wouldn't go to that dinner. Dollars to donuts the friend is already going to frame you as overbearing and trying to ruin their friendship and even though your husband is the one to invite you. My guess is that the friend will try to get it in his head that you forced him to do it. It makes it easier for the friend to do this if you're at the dinner. Also, if you're going to rebuild your relationship with your husband, you have to rebuild your trust. Trusting him to do the right thing without you being there is the important part. He needs to do this on his own. There really should be a reverse version of, bros before HOS, when you get to the point that you marry and have kids with someone. Oh wait. 
there is. It's your fucking marriage vows. But even if that weren't the case, this guy is encouraging your husband to knowingly hurt you. I get not being super best friends with your spouse's friend. But some basic respect should be baseline. Your husband needs to choose. But you are not the one making him do it you weren't the one constantly throwing insults. But keep in mind. You had to discover how shitty his friend was being. The only reason your husband is even attempting to fix things is because you stumbled on all these messages. Did your husband ever defend you? From the op. It sounds like he just said, no, to his friend's suggestion about screwing much younger women. But did he ever push back? Something like, that's the mother of my child you're talking about, or, I hope you never talk about my daughter. Like that. Maybe this friend feeds some macho fantasy about being young and desirable. But if he's feeling any kind of inadequacy, he should be discussing it with you. His wife. Not someone who doesn't want to let go of their frat boy fantasies. The fact that he still wants his asshole friend in his life and thinks that setting some boundaries, where you go back to not hearing what the friend is saying to him makes me think it's smart to stay at your parents' house. The fact he didn't apologize at all until you showed him the post and threatened him with court tells me your husband is a massive jerk and he's not sincere about talking with his friend. I truly hope he respects you up. But I have the feeling his break up with his friend will be either insincere and still see him behind your back or will forget about it as soon as you don't bring it up. Wish you all the luck xx. Ah, he wants you to come to dinner with the problem to discuss boundaries? No, he knows what the boundaries are. He can discuss them with his friend and then he can let you know what the friend and then he decide having dinner together to discuss boundaries is some weird triad third wheel shit his friend isn't part of your marriage sorry to say it but your husband sounds like a dick sure he didn't cheat when he easily probably could have but he didn't stick up for you when his friend was talking about your body and continues to allow this friend to say try to get him to cheat also what kind of person even comments on their friend's wife's body weirdo holy heck i'm seeing red reading this and the original post i hope things work out for you either with your husband or your divorce i am so glad that you have found the strength to draw a firm line in the sand you husband needs to consider that how he acts around you will shape how your daughter will see men. How she will accept future treatment etc. If he is happy disrespecting you like this. He is happy for someone to come and treat her in the future. And I can almost guarantee if you said, honey. How would you feel if your son-in-law let a friend talk about other women? Their vaginas and try tempt him away from our daughter? He would deny it till blue in the face. Stay strong for you and your daughter. You deserve a partner that respects you and can demonstrate to your daughter that being a partner means having each other's back. Op. You are still NTA. You are also correct that your husband is still not prepared to man up and be a proper husband in father. Everything he is doing right now sounds like an extinction burst and temporary attempt to placate you. As soon as you come back, everything will probably return to how it was previously. The most obvious sign is him trying to have his cake and eat it too by arranging that joke of a dinner with you and his friend. I hate to say it, but while your husband is talking a good game about making things right, his actions scream that he has picked his friend over you and your daughter and will continue to do. So, you can give him a chance to shape up. But I have a feeling that is just prolonging the pain at this point. After everything this friend has said and done, I would not accept him being a part of my life in any way, shape, or form. 
and if my husband, the person I've chosen to join lives with, decided that brotherhood, with someone who would decimate his marriage was deserving of another chance, he'd be receiving divorce papers. Don't give this person an inch. He will claw back miles. He will never choose you over his friend. If he does choose you over his friend he will make you feel guilty about it for the entirety of your marriage. He will never see your full side of it. He may pretend but he truly won't ever because he has already chosen his friend over you. He's already showing you exactly what you mean to him. When somebody shows you what you mean to them, it's best to listen. It shouldn't take the thought of losing his marriage to get him to see that you've been treated like crap. It shouldn't take him losing his marriage to get him to stand up and be a decent human. No. Op. Your husband has a family now. And protecting you too as his priority. Years of friendship. Brotherhood. Whatever it is. The friend needs to go. You do not want such nasty influence in your child's life. Even if his presence is going to be smaller now. No. That man needs to go. He's too disrespectful to you and your family. That's not something your husband should overlook or forgive with a second chance, because of friendship. What's to say that the friend won't cross an even bigger boundary than this one? I'm sorry to say that I think your husband got married too soon. His refusal to disengage from this friend indicates he wasn't ready for a marital commitment. He and his friend are in two very different places in their lives right now. And if your husband can't see that, maybe it's time for him to rejoin his friend as a bachelor. I'm sorry, but trying to coerce you into joining his jerk of a friend for dinner is not a proper response. Regardless of how appealing a handful of cherry-picked screenshots are to you. Also, there's this. My husband was mad at me for insinuating that his friend was a perv and was even more mad because. Now I was saying he should cut his friendship out. You didn't insinuate anything. Your husband's friend outed himself as one through his own words. Your husband's failure to understand that is scary. To be honest let him be mad on his own. Your daughter doesn't need to be around this. I don't know what kind of improvement you're expecting. Though. Your husband can't fix what he won't acknowledge as broken. He's just saying whatever he can to calm you down. That he tries to turn it back around you. Go on the offensive. And claim that you're wrong for trying to control his friendships indicates that he has no idea. What you're even mad about until he can understand that. He won't even be capable of the improvement that you're looking for. Huh is your husband teaching your daughter to call uncle the garbage who tried to break your marriage? How he did not brush the trying to make him cheat from the first second. Next step what he will do. Cheat then teach your daughter to call her mom too? Be strong up and stay firm to your boundaries. This is not a healthy friendship for your marriage. I hope your next husband will put you and your children first. Info. Does your husband have any other friends? I'm thinking he may be holding on to his asshole friend because the alternative in his mind is being completely isolated. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.